Hey, hello everyone. So today we take a look on second topic, which is creating a worksheet, data entry and data type, as well as working with a sales reference. For the learning outcome for today will be to describe and create the Microsoft Excel worksheet and to enter the text and numbers in the Microsoft Excel worksheet. So now, we need to open a new document from the Work Excel. And then, waiting for the end. And then click a blank workbook. At the moment, as you can see in the notes, so we need to make sure that we want to create a one table with the details like in figure 2.1 which we name it as a cell analysis worksheet so to come up with this first we need to click the cell a1 here you want to make it sure it should be at cell a1 here like this in the name box and type store mobile shop and then click enter and then after that we click cell a2 like this a2 which mean column a heading to a uh, column a row 2 and then enter january to june 2021 sales analysis then click enter after that we go to cell a4 which is here and then click in o and then click button then type at b4 which is here and then type product product and then c4 is january this one february for d4 after that we go to march for e4 and then april for f4 and then at g4 may and June for H4, and then total cells at I4. And click enter. After that, we go to cell A5 here, and then type number one, and then we go for another part, which is A6 until a11 a6 until a11 by clicking number two three four five six and seven done with this column in o then we go to the next column which is product at the product we need to start at b5 like this yeah b5 and then type iphone i iphone 12 then click enter then we continue with b6 which is iphone 13 b7 we go for samsung galaxy S22, then we go for B8 is Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy S2, S21, then uh, 
B10 and B9, we go for real me 9. Then B10, we go for real me 9 pro. Then uh, B11, we go for smart on casing and at b12 we go for auto cells click enter next we go to january Hello. at c5 type two five zero two zero and then click enter and then we continue with the other numbers there. So next is zero. After that, we go for 12,000. After that, we go for 15,000, zero, and 10. 15,000 and 10. And then we go for 4,400. 12,250 in cells, and C10, C11 will be 700. As you can see right now, the words here was height because of the space of the grid lines. So it has been covered by the grid lines. So what we can do is just click this one, and you go to this column heading, you need to see to my pointer, yeah? See the, the pointer, click to the B there, the green line under the B there, and then double click. So it will clearly see the, the full name of the product. And then same goes to February there, cannot be seen, so you click double click on it. And then same goes to the total sales, sales here at column I, just click double. So you're going to see that there will be a maximum and then utilizing all those spaces. Then we go to D5. At D5 here, then we go for 17, 6, 5, 0. Then click enter. Then we go for the next part, which is 0 for D6. And then D7, sorry, yeah, D7, then we go for 24,100. And then D8 is 21,000. Then 17,650 for D9. At D10 will be 11,380. And lastly, D11, we go for 760. Then we go for the next part at E5. At E5, you need to type 15,000. Next, E6, we go for 37,050. E7, we go for 21,400. E8, the E8 will be 17,755. E9 will be 11,915. E10 will be 9,420. For lastly, E11 will be to 1,210. Then we go for April column. At F5 will be 15,000. And then click enter. Then we go for F6, which is 32,020. Sorry. 32,020. Then we go for F7 will be 19,925. 16,430 
10,500 for F9, then 10,500, oh, sorry, 10,500, uh, 7, sorry, 7,600 for F10, and then F11, 1,640. Next, we go for May column. At G5 will be 35,000. Next will be 25,000. Then we go for 18,870. 19,910 at G8. And then G9 will be 12.54. 12 G6 will be, sorry, G10, sorry, G10 will be 6,480. 6, and lastly, G11 will be 1,030. Then we take a look on the last part in June column cash five we start with nine thousand five hundred then fourteen thousand five hundred for hash six hash seven we take a look on fourteen thousand nine hundred and ninety nineteen thousand six hundred and seventy for hash eight hash nine will be will be key in eleven Six hundred even thousand six hundred and fifteen key in for hash and six with ten thousand five hundred and seventy and last but not least is nine hundred and seventy for hash eleven. Next, we want to format the range from this A four this one A four with a uh, uh, range A4 until I11, okay, A4 until I11. So we, we want to format it with blue table style medium 20 table format. So what we need to do is go to the home tab here and then take a look on styles group here, this category. And then after you go to this category and take a look on format as table and click this one and find out table style with a medium 20. You can see it is a, a blue table style medium 20 and then click and click make sure you click my table has headers and then click OK. So the answer and the, the outcome will be like this. And then we also want to format the A12 here, A12 until I12 with a total cell style format. So you need to go home again, you could go to style for group, and then we go to the cell style and then click this one we call it at the title and headings click totals so the answer will be like this and then after that we want to click b14 this one they click b14 and type highest cells and then b15 okay, b15 will be lowest cells and B16 will be average cells and then you need to make sure by formatting B14 until B16 with a H16 yeah, B14 until B16 together with this hash 16 here from this to this hash 16 with a border. 
the what you need to do is go to home go to font and then find out this bottom border and then click this one and then click all borders so you're gonna see your table for this one will be border and then you want to format the range again b14 until hash 16 with the color so you go to home again and then you go to uh font group yeah and you go to font group after that you go to fill color list fill color list and then click orange this one so it will change the deep color after that we want to format again b14 until b16 only b14 until b16 with ball so you go to home you go to font and then click this one as ball so your words will be ball here next we take a look on a1 and a2 a1 and a2 for this a1 and a2 you want to format it make sure you change it the font type and the font size so click a1 and a2 and then go to home click font and then click the features font type and then choose a royal narrow and up and royal narrow this one and then click this one and again we want to change the font size into 16 click this one font size and then come up with 16. after that we want to format by making emerging so click this a1 until i1 yeah, a1 to i1 and then want to merge it you go to home you go to the alignment and then come up with this merge and center and click this one and then click merge and center after that same also for this one you click this and then drag this a2 until i2 and then click again alignment and merge and center after that next is i want to for mapping these things yeah for mapping all of this thing into a currency so now you just click c5 yes c5 and and drag it until c uh, until i12 yeah, until i12 here c5 until i12 and then you go to home you go to numbers and then click this one number format and drag it and then click currency so you're gonna see this one in the currency form and you're gonna see some of the areas here with the hashtag actually you just click again like i said you go to column heading and double click so your uh whatever you key in the data that you key in can be seen here so make sure it should be in rm if it does not in rm you just highlight this and then find out this one accounting we call it accounting number format and then find out rm in english yeah? rm in malaysia and then make sure it should be a two decimal number by increasing this one decrease the so that's all for today related to this data so what you can do next is click this one and then click save as and click brown and maybe i put it in the documents after that i name it as cells here cells analysis and click 
second. So your work has been there, and this is the outcome after we key in everything related to this sales analysis. So that's all from me. Thank you.